told y'all these messages feel like what's crazy is well not really because fear them gonna do a fear them love come on number five it feels like these are very healing messages y'all these are the things we're healing so that we can transform and move on so come on leo what's coming in from my leos this for this full moon in sagittarius or oh, let's do it a hey. Look, y'all got a lot of stuff coming out, and the cards are jumping, jumping. I feel like y'all are excited. Come on, Leo. Y'all, I can't make it up. Y'all going to trip out when I show y'all this card. It's flipped upside up. Upside up. Is that even a word? I can't make it up. It's a Leo card. I'm going to tell y'all that. And it, and it really, it came up in the reverse. Come on, Spirit. What's the clarity card for Leo Nim? And that one, now that one's not face up. Let's, okay, let me just show y'all. So this, like, this literally came, it's a Leo card. It, it popped up or popped out in the reverse, face up, just like this. This card says, last quarter moon in Leo, lighten up. Leo, do I feel, I feel like y'all are finally things are finally does it feel i feel like my leos man i ain't gonna lie i'm i receive it and y'all know i remove myself but it feels like things are finally starting to ease up if you've been going through a lot of challenges it feels like this sagittarius new moon is bringing the end of some delays now when i speak on myself it feels like things are finally lightening up maybe it's because you're making better decisions and you're understanding and you're very focused in on the what you and what it is that you want to do so you you may feel like the enemy child no longer has his foot on your neck. You welcome, dearest one. Oh, we have the third quarter that is coming in for Leo. This says forgiveness, contemplation, reflection, reevaluation, introspection, revision, changes are required. Keep trusting. All is not lost and adjustments that is coming in. So first things I feel first things first, Leo, I feel like things are finally easing up. Maybe you've done the reflection, you've done the inner work, you've listened to yourself, you've made necessary adjustments. And some of like this, look, this is reflection, reevaluation, revision. So this Mercury retrograde feels like it may not be as bad for my Leos as maybe some previous retrogrades has been, or maybe the things that are coming in for my Leos for this new moon in Sagittarius. It's like they're not going to be, it's, it's like things are not going to be as difficult. You finally feel like some ease, some relief, like finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. I feel like you've been like, this is, but you may have a test that's coming in that's going to require you to keep your faith, hold strong, and just continue to put your faith in the Lord. But it feels like you've already done the work that's necessary. You may be doing, this may be a period where you're reevaluating some people around you, friendship circles the work that you're doing and by the first of the year you may be have made it a, a firm decision of the direction that you're wanting to go in so that's the first thing whatever you need to reevaluate or like whatever contemplation you've been thinking about you're gonna have to go with your heart leo and really decide like does this benefit me is it adding to me is it adding to my happiness and beyond that is it, is it in alignment with what God wants for my life? Is it in alignment with my purpose? Is it in alignment with my happiness and my joy? And that is going to be your indicator of whether something stays or whether something goes, Leo. This new moon in Sagittarius is saying, if it's not adding to my happiness, then that is then that means I don't have room for it. So a lot of you may be in this stage where you're evaluating a lot of different aspects, people, connections, places where you live, jobs that you're at, where you're really evaluating and saying, if it's not adding to my happiness, I'm no longer making room for it. Okay. So this, I don't know, this retrograde feels significant for my Leos. Um, in so far as what some of you may be revisiting some things that you thought that you healed from and you may have to just face it and deal with it you and but i also feel like on this i feel like leo's may just be in this energy where you just chilling and you may just be very receptive as we're talking about these rewords right that's so funny i brought these up in the in the what was it in the community message or the channel messages? It's like we like you may be very receptive and just allowing things to happen. I feel like Leos are not 
not in this energy of trying to force anything. You're just allowing things to play out. You're allowing people to show you who they are. You're, it's just like receptive energy. You're allowing things to come to you. You're allowing the answers to come. You're allowing connections to come. You're allowing things to fall away. You're, and it just feels like you're just not, like you're, you're like, oh, come on spirit. You're lightening your energy because you're not, you're not trying to force anyone. My Leos, we have a thing about people pleasing. And so it feels like the, the way that your that spirit is helping you to lighten your load is by you saying, if somebody's falling off, if somebody's falling away, you're just allowing that to happen. You're not trying to hold on. Come on, synergy. You're not trying to hold on to things or force connections or force relationships or force things to work. If it don't work, you're like, okay, cool. I learned from it. If it's not benefiting you, you're like, okay, well, I appreciate the experience and releasing it with gratitude. And then you're moving on. So I feel like this time period may have you just very kind of observant, just kind of watching back. You may have a little bit of nostalgia that's coming in, but I feel like you're just allowing things to come into you and you're accepting people, places and things for what they are, who they are, how they are. But you're not trying to force anything, period. And my left ear started ringing on that. And tizzle, Leo. And tizzle. Come on, um, Virgo. Child, we almost done, y'all. We making good time. Come on, Leo. I mean, Virgo. Some of y'all, this I'm to you, you're gonna be making, and this is everybody. It does feel like you're gonna be making necessary adjustments as we're stepping into the new year, into this, uh, and, and we're in this Mercury retrograde. Come on, Virgo. Oh, well, they meant that. Y'all wasn't playing. Something might be like, I don't know. That just fell on the very first card, y'all. So this could be some new beginnings that's coming in for my Virgos. I'm talking about it is directly in alignment with something maybe like you may be in alignment with something coming in for you now, Virgo. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Virgo, what we got? A tuned divine flow. I'm telling you, new moon in Pisces. It's so much Pisces. Y'all, this is a message heavy on the spirituality, heavy on the tapped in heavy on developing those relationships, Virgo, attuned to the divine. And look, I'm going to show you what these mess, what this fell. It literally fell on top of this, just like this. And this is the flow card. So the only thing I was able to see was the flow of life. So Virgo, I feel like you're very much in tune with spirit Nim and really like in the flow of what is coming for you. It feels like your spirit Nims are helping to bring in new things as well, right? Oh Lord, look, you got Kai Chiron as your card, the wounded healer, the wounded healer with Chiron, healing souls, wounds, pain, gifts, cleansing, spiritual growth, teacher, wounded healer, amends and illness. I'm telling y'all this, this Sagittarius full moon is very healing and cleansing, maybe because it's the last one of the year. Okay, Virgo. So first things first, I feel like spirit and them are very heavy on trying to make you grow. And this is the thing. It's like you, I feel like my, my Virgos, you're, you're no longer willing to hold on to pain. It's almost like you say that again, y'all. Cause I missed that part. Child, they said your pain has been an excellent teacher. For my Virgos, it feels like your pain has been an excellent teacher. And so you're in the process of releasing those lessons and calling in like partnerships, relationships, experiences that are not meant to teach you something painful, but are meant to teach you how to grow and expand within yourself and within your life. But some of y'all, this literally feels like as you, as you, as you realize how you're still allowed old pain to be your, your current teacher. Come on, spirit. It feels like you're realizing how you may be recur regurgitating pain is what they just said. And so it's like you keep calling in people teaching you that very same painful lesson. And so for my Virgos, it feels like those wounds being closed and now you allowing new energy to come in and no longer accepting the same lessons. They're giving this energy of acceptance for my Virgos. It may be y'all been going through something where you 
you were just putting up strong boundaries and just saying, no, I'm not going to accept this pain anymore. I'm not going to accept this situation anymore. Like it feels like some of my Virgos are like putting your foot down because you could have gone through so many cycles in this, like in this lifetime where you're literally just accepting the pain. You're accepting the things and feeling like, I don't know why, why am I talking to my Virgos about your self-worth and how you truly value yourself? I feel like what you're, what's feared in them or bringing in for this Sagittarius new moon is you valuing yourself and no longer being willing to accept people who want to come in and inflict pain because for some of y'all you've dealt with people whose intentions is like they're less 